What's up, fight fans? Main man, me, man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Salute to the fam. Word on the curb, man. I caught the um, live stream of Bernie the Boxer in which uh, assistant coach for Terrence Crawford, Red Spikes, got on. And he had a lot of things to say. I'm sure Team uh, Crawford Nation out there has already seen this already. But the one good thing about that whole thing and Take in mind, most of the stuff that Red Spice was talking about, he was saying, well, we've pretty much already, you know, said that here on the channel. And that's pretty much the position that we've been taking. His constant fight with Bob Arum to the public. Why people doesn't support Terrence Crawford in his fight against his promoter, which a fight that we've seen happen before with fighters like Oscar De La Hoya and like Floyd Mayweather and Mikey Garcia. But when it comes to Terrence Crawford's situation and we know what he's trying to do, well, fans act like they're turning a blind eye to it. They act like that Terrence Crawford is trying to be complacent. They're acting as if Terrence Crawford doesn't want to leave. They're acting as if that he's just going to just be disrespected and just, you know, let Bob Arum disrespect him and do nothing about it. That was the, that's the narrative out here with a lot of boxing fans. And it's not true, fight fans. I've been saying that over and over and over again. It's not true. When people come to me and say, man, man, who is Terrence Crawford fighting? I tell you, I don't care who he's fighting. I just want him to wrap it up and get on up out of there. Doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, he's going to get paid very well no matter who he fights anyway. And according to Red Spikes, he'll get $4 million if he goes in there and fights Zepeda. So if Bob Aaron want to just blow a bunch of money and Terrence Crawford got him in a position where he has to be paid very, very well no matter what, then salute to Terrence Crawford, fight fans. That's the way we're supposed to look at it. Everyone running around here take Bob Arum's statements and his words. Oh, I'm going to lose money on Terrence Crawford. And they treating it like it's gospel. Who cares if Bob Arum lose any money? We want to see Terrence Crawford come out on top. Because Bob Arum has screwed over so many fighters in the past. So when we see one that's possibly going to win this fight, hopefully then we should be supporting that and not asking dumb questions and not dragging his name through the mud and not lying on him. So at the end of the day, according to Red Spikes, Terrence Bud Crawford will not resign with top rank. He will go on to be a free agent after October. According to Red Spikes in the contract, it's either one more fight or October, which means that if it goes beyond October, then Terrence Crawford should be a free agent. Now, the question of whether Terrence Crawford will walk away from top rank as a world champion will remain to be seen. The question of will Bob Arum try some last minute gimmicks? I do find the date that they're talking about Terrence Crawford returning October 22nd on a Friday against the Peta very, very fishy. So if anything goes beyond this, this is clearly Bob Arum trying certain gimmicks and, and trying certain things to keep Terrence Crawford in place. And boxing fans, we should be speaking against that, not against Terrence Croft. So it's good that Red came out and said this, man, and, and stuff like this. He said a lot of good stuff in that interview. Y'all going over there and check that out on Bernie the Boxer's channel. He said a whole lot of good stuff. He, he was talking about the politics in boxing, how, you know, the last 20 years, how there's so much politics in boxing. And we get it, you know, everyone want to see the best fight the best, but boxing is a business, which is something that, a lot of us boxing fans has came to accept at this point in time. But at the end of the day, um, Terrence Crawford is not being complacent. He is not resigning with top rank. I don't know who is the, the main culprit that started spreading that around. I've heard names, but I will say that I think just a lot of people was just doing the math. And they figured that they took the words of Bob Arum when he said that, hey, uh, well, he'll fight Josh Taylor in 2022. And people start assuming that Terrence Crawford would automatically lock back in with Bob Arum. Y'all gotta start giving Terrence Crawford more benefit of the doubt out there, fight fans. He's a very accomplished fighter. He's a damn good fighter. Most of the people that talk against him today and yesteryear was all for him. It's just that another star may have risen up that they'd rather support uh, over Terrence Crawford. But just because you support someone over Terrence Crawford don't mean you gotta down him. Don't mean you gotta lie on him. Don't mean you gotta try to put him in a box. You know what I'm saying? The man is a good fighter. He's an exemplary fighter. Walks around. He's a family man. He doesn't get himself in trouble. Stays in shape between fights. Gives you great performances each and every time he's in the ring. I mean, why is the 
you know, why does boxing fans go against Terrence Crawford? It'd be something, knowing that he's in there with a snaky promoter, it's something I would never understand. You know what I'm saying? I just look at it all as agendas. There's a lot of pay for play stuff going on out here and stuff like that. So there's actually efforts underway to keep Terrence Crawford down believe it or not you know what i mean so at the end of the day i'm not falling for the smoke and mirrors i know how good of a fighter he is that's why they all avoid him i know that the politics is the only thing that's stopping these fights from happening he wants to get away from bob arum he did not sign with bob re-sign with bob arum and even when you go back to another thing that red spikes has said that i've always vouched for here on the channel a lot of fight fans wanted turns crawford to come out publicly and diss Bob Arum on a constant basis every time Bob Arum got something to say about him. And I get it. Hey, he talking that to me. You don't disrespect me. I'm a man. I, I understand that type of talk. Lord knows I do. But we talking about millions of dollars here. You know what I'm saying? You talking about somebody who, a promoter who I'm in business with or got a signed contract with. And we got to ride this all the way out to the end. What does it look like for us two to be enemies? You know what I'm saying? Do I want to end up back into a Mikey Garcia type situation where Mikey got dragged out in court with Bob Arum? And missed a lot of his prime years You know what I'm saying So does he wants to be Into a situation like that Just to please Some boxing fans The answer is no Terrence Crawford has came out Publicly though Against Bob Arum in the past And his actions I repeat Actions Has spoke louder Than words When he refused To, to sign that Kell Brook con uh, contract Held out to the last minute Pissing off Bob Arum uh, That he can't promote Terrence Crawford And Kell Brook On certain shows Signing the contract at the last minute, putting Bob Arum under a million dollar penalty if he doesn't make the best the best fights that can be made out there. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you see the action speaking much louder than the words. People can run around and say what they want to say, but if Terrence Crawford has penalties on legendary Bob Arum, right? Penalties, something that Bob Arum was the biggest snake and it's hard to pin him down. But I got little Terrence Crawford got a million dollar penalty on him, keeping him in check. But yet, he gets no publicity for that. Instead, they'd rather cover Bob Arum's words. That's just real talk, fight fans. So this is why you got to rock with the real, man. So at the end of the day, fight fans, Terrence Crawford is not re-signing back with top rank. Even in the last time when they claimed that he re-signed, he did not re-sign. He extended and restructured the same way that Teofimo Lopez is doing, you know? And he got himself a better deal. He got himself a higher guarantee. He does not run around and promote himself constantly. He doesn't do a bunch of interviews. Bob Arum doesn't promote him nearly as well as he does say try to do Tyson Fury or Vasil Lomachenko or anyone like that so at the end of the day a high guarantee for Terrence Crawford was perfect you know what I'm saying um putting on the biggest sport network in the world ESPN was perfect for Terrence Crawford but of course boxing fans you know what I'm saying they want to come out and just say well no that was a bad move and just that in the third well if he walks up out of there in October especially if he walks away with that WBO World Championship, fight fans, he walks away with his legacy intact, his future very bright, and, and, and his legacy intact, his future very bright, and basically at the end of the day, as crazy as this may sound, beating Bob Arum. Remains to be seen, fight fans. That time will come very, very soon. According to Red Spikes, when October gets done, if they don't get no fight by October, they can walk away. Let's hope that they can walk away with that world title. Thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, 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 rock those bells. To the next video, man. Peace out.